Right, so the windows are in. Um, I actually cannot afford Keith one bit because um, no spacers were needed on this because that's proper level. We needed a, what was it, two mil space on that one? On one end. On one end. Um, so that just shows how meticulous he's been with um, building the blocks, etc. Can't believe that. <laughs> Spent a fortune on spacers, but he didn't really need them. What we're doing now is um, filling um, the pond because we've had rain and stuff, and the fiberglass is coming up. We don't want that to um, crack or anything, so we want to make sure that that's safe. So we're going to fill it up to like a foot, be a foot below, a foot below window levels um leave that 24 hours which will kill the chlorine and then what we will do is then the remaining water that we need to fill up we will use from the top pond where we've got the fish up in the back up in the tanker pond back down here so fill it up so it's got the um, bacteria etc so but I just want to give a big shout out to everybody who's um, came and helped us today because they like absolutely smashed it. Um, the lads from Taylor May Flooring, thank you so much. Wow. Thank you so much for coming out. Thank you to Ben from P and D Environmental. Absolute top guy. Um, spoke to him um, over a few days. Um, mentioned to him this morning that we wanted to get this done today. <laughs> Thankfully, the thunderstorm that we had earlier subsided um, by the time everybody got here. And I will put in clips of um, the guys moving the windows and fitting them, etc. Can you guess how many cars of stone it went for? Oh yeah, we need to guess. Have a guess in the comments. Let's have a guess. I want, I want, I want somebody to guess how many cans of Stella have the guys consumed while we've been fit, while they've been fitting this. There was. Eight, eight, eight of you in total, weren't there? Including yeah. yourself? Um, for a couple of hours. Eight eight people, two hours. Eight people, two hours. How many cans of Stella were consumed? Everyone all right? Yes, Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I don't know, I'm blaming you after that comment you made. Just move forward a little bit. We'll see. Move the top. Move the top. It can go this way. If I send a centimetre... It can go our way a centimetre or not. Yeah, that's that's exactly how he did it. So there was a centimetre left at each side. (laughs) Sure. Right, you ready? No, wait. No, no. Everybody re-pump your things. Make sure they're still pressurised. Yeah, so... Right, bottom's going in first. What end? Bottom in first. Bottom first. Yeah. Okay, on three lads. Go Ready? Ahead, okay. Ready? One, two, and three. Yeah. Straight down. Yeah. Right, pull the bottom over. Press it in. Press Are we in? in. Are we in? Press it in. Slide out. I've got a. Is anybody got it? Yeah. 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 Go on, get you. I've got a scaffold bar I was going to put across the front with some ratchet straps on them suckers. Pull it in so it, like. Guys, careful, come out. So you've got it on the inside. Yeah. Watch your legs, lads. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, take one of these blocks off, mate. Looking at that. <laughs> Gavin, take a block off. <laughs> You boys got it from behind, I'm going to put yeah, this, yeah. this bar off. Just jump out of the way at the front so I can... Or step over it. Uh, ratchet straps here. Yeah. Yeah. 
Go on in, baby. Let's take Brian's in. Go on. Stay in there. Go, go. What's that? When it's been poured, so it's flat against that. Yeah. Then you're going to seal, if you come around here, you need to come around here with it. Bend it over, bend it over, and down towards my hand. Have you got the glass, guys? Yeah. We're then going to seal. Can you see it? Uh, Seal that. The, that it, there. The, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Uh, the, the inside. No, I agree with that as well. The yeah. inside. Obviously, it's a wider gap there, but obviously across the bottom as well. How much glue's overhanging there? Uh, I'm just going to seal it just, 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 just so a little bit. Obviously, there's, there's a lot of glue. Like at the side here? Yeah. yeah. A lot. A lot. Yeah. That needs to come, come out. It's coming onto the glass here. needs to be wiped for now. Yeah, because we don't want messy edges. Got that then? You might be. Don't, Adam! Do you know what? These guys at TaylorMade are amazing. Thank you so much for coming after your working day to help us out do this. And there's another, there's another guy here. Thank you very much. <laughs> and Ben at p &D Environmental, thank you so much for your time and straps and everything else that you've done to give us a hand. And this, and this strapping young chap in the middle, he needs a shout as well. Who's that? I've already been shouting. I don't, I'm, so, I'm really sorry. I don't, <laughs> I don't know all your names. You ain't having a shout out after that comment you made about the extra large t shirt. <laughs> You're up for the sack, you are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, all these lads that work at Taylor Made Flooring absolutely. Brilliant. Yeah, Top lads. Always here to have a customer. Customer? Everybody's big customer. 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 Keith, Keith, you know. Spot on. Oh, that's that's one. Let's see what that was. There ain't, there ain't even no spaces in Keith, this window. For, for one guy, you are one sick bastard. <laughs> no, he's not sick. To be honest, mate, I think if that's held in. That is you can see it's awesome. Here, it's just sleep there for a You can see it's ceiling because it's all so like coming up. I'm going with this guy. Whatever he says. What do you want to do with those bumpers, decking balls from back in London? Do you want to send him back over to you? He's still fucking working, look at him. <laughs> I've got to go and find him some staff now. I'm well happy with that, people. Really happy with that. <laughs> it's absolutely awesome, isn't it? Yeah, it'll get sealed on the inside, etc. Yeah, that was my plan to see. Yeah. It's got to be ratcheted now onto the bar to, to get it in. How long does it take to go off that stuff? 24, 48 hours. Having, having the, like, water pressurised against it, does that not push it into it? Yeah. Well, yeah, obviously. So you're filling it, you're filling it up well, so, No, basically, we'll fill it up tonight to about a foot below. I'm going to put some water in it to get rid of that water. We've, no, we've got it. The, the glass, it, the water will push it out. That's what I was thinking, like, while it's set in. No, because you can't do it wet. It's got to be dry. So what, whatever filler we put in there, that bit where you showed, that's got to be dry before you put any water in. Because the water won't, if it gets wet, it won't set. I've got to go there to seal anyway. I'm not going to see it from this side. I'm not going to see it that? Is that a nice bead on that, Adam? Your head's growing. <laughs> it's a nice bead on that. Yeah, well done. Who said that? Ben. 
<laughs> oh, he's, 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 he's your new best mate. <laughs> I've never seen him before in my life. Oh, mate. I reckon he's got his Cheers, mate. It's going to be cladded anyway. It's just this bit here needs a little bit coming because yeah, take a bit off that. That's the bit that Adam did. Is that the bit that Adam did? No, I have a lot of keeps a bit. Did you? I got a bit happy with the gun. Josh, I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought Josh it was the smell of that out. stuff, yes. weren't it? Yeah, I, I got a bit high. Got a bit high. <laughs> too much down. I have got a couple of. Oh, where do you work? The brick plant in Meesham. Where? Voltoro and Meesham, the brick plant. Yeah, brick plant. Yeah, that's where I work, Red Bank. Bank. Yeah, yeah. What do you do? Work on the kilns. Right, look, fair play. Have you got a CSCS card? No. No. Could work with these, but. He's after some stuff. I'm just thinking he's after some stuff. Do you know what? The two biggest things are. Come on, Red Bank. He just pulls them off. So, um. People in silicone need to be a little bit careful when you're filling in your pond windows because given, uh, it gets everywhere, look. I wasn't given the correct PPE to wear for the job. <laughs> oh, mate. Roger, you got Roger over there telling you you've got a PPE. Oh, look. Yeah. It's made your tattoo look mint, mate, that it has. has. <laughs> it's given me a hip Are we allowed to say that? Hip attach. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think nail varnish remover might get that off. No, it's them marks are pretty, pretty good. Heather. They're pretty good, them marks. Let's get another one on it, mate. Get That's quite a one. nice tattoo, actually. Yeah, I'm trying yeah. to have a look. Wait, come yeah, here, show, you, show us your tattoo. There, there you go. That's quite nice. <laughs> it's going on YouTube? Yeah. <laughs> I've got one on my arse as well, of course. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't, we're not showing that. <laughs> What kind of YouTube channel is it? It's a coin channel. W tattoo on your dick and it, it's just a case of um <laughs> Adam. <laughs> He's a bit busy at the moment. <laughs> so um I just want to say a big thank you to all the boys at Tailor Made Flooring. Um for turning up today after having a long day's work you've come after work and helped us fit these and ben at pnd environmental who's also the east mids fishing group ambassador um who's been to assist the windows are in absolutely buzzing most of them have gone home but we've still got adam and keith and jamming who Jamin's uh, constantly asking me for an update. Well, you know you've got an update now, mate, because you were here helping us do it. It is Adam Winness. <laughs> Absolutely buzzing. Absolutely buzzing. Can't thank you enough, mate. Really you can't. More, you are more than welcome. You and that. Team Taylor Made. Taylor Made. Taylor Made flooring. All, no worries. It's all. It's all in the uh, all in the job description. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely buzzing i'm really buzzing I, i'm just so thankful to you to you guys and to ben as well at pnd uh, you know the, 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 you, everybody's worked so hard to get that like that but can't believe point, it and the you, sun's out we was absolutely gutted earlier with that thunderstorm we thought oh no it's gonna not happen and all this but the sun's out it's dry it's just been brilliant yeah it's been absolutely fantastic you, you guys have waited a year to get that to the way it's got oh now. do you know what it was worth the wait absolutely worth the wait we've had to make sure we did it right and we did it on the day look at ness ness you traitor <laughs> i love my uncle <laughs> no Thank you so much. You're more than welcome, honestly. And no again, just once again, all the lads at Taylor Made Flooring, I cannot thank you guys enough. You've been absolutely amazing. I've just got to clear up your Stella cans. <laughs>
Okay guys, so um, that's all the clips put together. I apologise if there's a bit of shoddy footage and um, shaky footage. I've not used the gimbal or anything. Um, but what I do want to say now is um, we've obviously got these in the next stage of this project now is the filters so we're now looking for some advice really on oh be quiet baby we're now looking for some advice on um, filtration for this size pond uh, we've got a few we've done a lot of research and we've had a lot of um, debate about what filter to put on here. So there's a few options we have, but what we would like to know is your opinion. But if you, if this was your pond and you had a pond with, that was um, 32,000 gallons, 8,000, no, sorry, apologies. 32,000 litres, 8,000 gallons. What drum filter would you put on your pond? Would you put in here an Aquaforte, a Draco Solum 70, or a Burton 50, or a Burton, is it, no, sorry, a Burton 500, or a Burton 700? Um, what would you, we just want a little bit of advice on on, on the drum filter because we want to over filtrate it obviously as you would as you normally would with a koi pond um so please drop us some comments below as to what filters you would have in your pond if you had a pond that was eight thousand gallons would you have um an aquaforte a Draco Solum 70 or a Burton 500 or a Burton 700. The Burton 500 does 12,000 gallons per hour. The Burton 700 does 16,000 gallons per hour. Um, we're not experts in this by any means. It, it's, it's a hobby that I've done for a long time. I've never, perfectly honest, I've never even really bothered to look at filters. Um, but I, I think for the size of the pond we've got now, I really need to start thinking about things like that. Um, so please do drop drop us a comment and let me know what, what filtration, what drum filter do you feel is going to be best for us to put on this pond? Thank you. Appreciate all our subscribers. Yeah, let us know, guys. Let, please do let us know what you, what what you would do if this was this was your pond. 